The music. Get everybody out. Oh, Cable's here. That's not good. Here we go, Reactors. You know what it is. Another new week, meaning another new episode to X-Men 97 that you and me have to reel in here at Reel It In Reactions. What did you guys think about episode four? Because today we got ourselves episode five. Episode four, I enjoyed it for the most part. They decided to give us basically two episodes in one, but today it's just one full episode so I'm excited. Plus, we're halfway through this season. We are moving fast. But before we dive into this reaction, do me a favor and give this video a like because you know what time it is. It's time to reel it in. You know what it is. Another new week to hear that theme song. A theme song that you and me are not skipping. Here we go. All right, let's see what new scenes, what new scenes? Ooh, Apocalypse and Cable. That was new. What else? Oh, I love that moment. Ooh, Nightcrawler and Gambit. All right, I think that was it. Only two new scenes. Okay, here we go. Some say they're freaks. Some call them monsters. But all over the planet, they are known as... X-Men. Mutants. We prefer okay. to see it as there a world go. that misunderstands us. Oh, remember it is the title. Well, I am just as flattered to be sitting with a renowned scientist such as yourself. <laughs> Blue blushes too, my dear. Hey, yo, Blue blushes. <laughs> the X-Men's home. A school for mutants founded by the late Professor Charles Xavier. Mm -hmm. Those old costumes. For many of the X-Men, Xavier's school is the only home they've ever known. People who have fallen through the cracks, forgotten, mm. desperate to belong. The UN formally admits the mutant nation. Genosha. Gambit, please remember that should the new Blackbird suffer a malfunction, Oh, that's right. The Blackbird got blown up in episode one. They be busy doing a bit of renovating since Gambit's last visit. It looks amazing. Oh, that's cool. They got statues for Magneto and Charles. It's <laughs> crazy. One person or one mutant. You can totally see their bones. Is that the X-Men? <laughs> yeah, it's the X-Men. You see the Blackbird. Welcome, X-Men. Magneto is right. Well, would you look at you, girl. A lot of smiles at the mansion when we heard Madeline Pryor scored a top spot among Genosha's brass. The interim council wanted an X-Man. Luckily, you guys could spare a gene. Hush, man. <laughs> Two always better than one. Yeah, I think Logan agrees. Surprised to receive an invite bearing the United Nations seal. Yeah, I hear it's called the future. <laughs> <laughs> the interim council would love a word with you before tonight's gala. So where the heck does that leave us? <laughs> oh, that crawler. I'll be a wet bird <laughs> on a live wire. He shall play tourist. Bert joined the council to help work with Genosha's various communities of faith. Bro, he is teleporting. Long as he left those faithful killer monks of his back at the monastery. I love that episode with uh, Nightcrawler and the monks. Come! Everything around us would not have been possible without the work of the X-Men. That is true. It's just like he said it'd be. Who? The professor? Uh, yeah, sure. Nah, she's referring to Magneto. Passing a nation overnight is not without its share of stumbles. Or maybe Gambit's willing to ask questions no one else will. Ooh. Like, why is Magneto suddenly mutant MVP? Well, I mean, he did make a gigantic speech. Hey, I, 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 Dazzler. It does not take a priest to see you on both souls 
touch in every gaze. <laughs> Ain't the touch she be looking for. Nope. <laughs> nope, it's not. You Americans! Life is violins and close-ups. I blame soap operas. Just marry the bell and be done. Right. Should have done that this whole time. Too busy sinning. There is no love without sin. If love is best measured in what we forgive. I'm guessing this episode is going to really focus on, you know, their relationship at the moment. I mean, it's at a halt now due to Magneto. I always kept that in mind as field leader. Hey, uh, those shades are weirded out the lights. Can you take them off? I can't. Sorry. Right. <laughs> so, you can't uh, see. back as team leader. Actually, let's talk about you and Marvel Girl. Ooh, talk about Jean. When did you know she was the one? Oh, this is going to be awkward, man. This whole time he's been in love with the wrong gene. You're skipping the questions, too. Hard to interview someone who can't tell which parts of her memories belong to her and which parts belong to her clone. Even reacquainting myself with my psychic powers feels strange. This is cool, though. Like the face of an old friend seen from every angle. This busted mug ain't changed in a hundred years, and you know it. <laughs> so many with Scott. The two lovebirds Ooh. still ain't talking. He's grieving his son. Although the way he's avoiding me recalls a time he was scared, afraid the phoenix had changed me. She was still the hothead who knocked my books out of my hand when I ran into her on the first day of school. Hmm. But I could already feel the universe speaking to me, much like Scott used to, through our special psychic rapport. And then she takes off my ruby glasses. Jean was using the power of the phoenix to block my optic blasts, and we could see each other's eyes. She's a strong one. They anchored me i know all about drowning in memories best to look up and keep paddling keep moving because the past will yank you under if you don't you forget how many sunrises your eyes have seen the only ever seen one of you red oh. just the one. Oh, she's blushing oh my god I i'm you're gene gray he's scott summers those are the rules now go talk to that overgrown boy scout right go talk to your man because right now, that was big. Jean and I don't have any kids. Strange. I saw hospital records for one Nathan Charles Summers just last month. Dang. Born at Westchester Memorial. Dang. She knows, she knows the facts. That jerk wouldn't deliver my... He called my kid a freak. Scott, I came here today to give the X-Men a chance to show the world... Nah, that you came here to air like out us. their dirty People. laundry. That's Normal. what that was. Why lie? Because you're normal. You're ungrateful. We fight, risk our lives for you. Evil mutants, robots, crazy aliens. I gave him up because you can't say thank you. Because I have to stomach your questions and prove that I'm a person. Damn. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. Thank God, because it's the only reason you people are still alive. Oh my God, on camera. Scott. Unprecedented fashion for our kind. No, these guys. Who's even the most overlooked of us finally getting a voice. We need a handsome jawline that begs trust and Emma respect. Frost. A poster child king. Don't go filling this man's head with such notions. And we all agreed on a title of chancellor. Mm. You eclectic allotment of social climbers wish for me to rule Genosha. Hilarious. He doesn't want to do that. He already has a responsibility with leading the X-Men. Charles, trust you with his X-Men. He trusts you with this. We were at a bar in Germany when Decisions. he first mentioned his dream. Was he sentimental or suicidal? Both earn an early grave. He did that oh. smile of his, that annoying secret smile. <laughs> annoying secret smile. We thought we'd perish before seeing the day when humanity accepted our people. Like Moses in the Promised Land. We would carry the dream, but never live it. Mm. Look, Magnus. Time to dream bigger. You shall have me on one condition. No, what's that one condition? You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? What? Me, mutant kind's fiercest defender, and you, an X-Man whose touch allows her to feel anyone's pain. King and queen? You take me for a fool, acting like this is all about you and the professor. I wonder if Gambit is listening. Loving you makes broken men whole, so that even as you deny us, our heartache is not in vain. Oh. We would be lucky to have you. Here we go, so with the touch. 
He's gonna reel her in. I can't believe I lost it like that. Oh, Bro, Scott. You're just gonna keep breaking my man's gambit's heart. There are some things worth holding on to. Gene. Describe Nathan. I see these big brown eyes and this wild rust-colored hair. It reminds me of... Of us. Oh, wow. Don't tell me! You can explain! What is going on? If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Wait, what? Something wrong, oh. Miss Brian? She was looking in on Jean's life. She was checking in on Cyclops. Just stop it. Let me explain, please. How long has it been happening? A month, maybe. I, I was checking in after she moved overseas, but we ended Go. up... Oh. Go to Genosha. Be with my clone. Damn. Oh, dear. Yeah, exactly. The cameras are rolling. She's the mother of my son. Do you love her? Of course he does. He spent love most of his of time with her, with Madeline. Whole galaxies beckoned me, but I turned my back for you. Sinister cuts out a part of me, and you love it? The music's changing, and you need a chair. Do you even love me? My love for you is the one thing I remember amid this pain and insanity. Remember or feel? Ooh. Choose, Jean. Do not spin this on me. Do you love me, Jean? Or am I just a lovely memory? I mean, you just kissed Logan. Jean. Oh, snap. What is it? Something's about to happen. Uh, hey there. Oh, she's gonna break the news to my man. You best sit down. It was back after I ran away from my daddy. My evil mother was helping me with my powers. Said she knew a fella who could help. Magneto. He spent weeks talking about how mutants were special. Oh my god, this is how they, they fell in love in the past. He showed me that being a mutant wasn't just about my power. It could be something more. Ooh. And when we Damn. realized that his oh. electromagnetic powers protected him from my touch, other things started happening. Wow. But then I started seeing the hurt in him. There wasn't enough room in our affair for his demons and, and mine. He was throwing cards in the fire. And if I can play a bigger role and better in the world, well, that's the whole reason I became So she'd an rather X sacrifice this relationship with him, with Remy. I played the Swamp Rat. I can't touch you, Remy. Your heart may beat for me, but I can't feel it. Wow. You, you light up everything you touch, but never me. Damn. I wager that fool will break your heart in two. Gambit always knows the odds. In this game, he do. Till then, we be friends, mon ami. Just friends. Just friends. Damn, that hurts. They never had this type of talk. Was that the Watcher? Was that the Watcher? Bro, that was the Watcher in the freaking sky. I kid you not. I'm not seeing anything. I guarantee you that was the Watcher. Oh my god. It looked like it. This looks like an epic night. Hopefully nothing happens. Most other nations don't allow a terrorist to be their leader. Yet so many Ooh. allow their leaders Strong to be words. terrorists. If it eases your mind, Magneto accepted only on the condition that we ask one of the X-Men to govern with him. Rogue. What did she say? She said yes. She looks stunning. Dang, Remy. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, Gambit. Dang, that hurts. Hey, Madeline knows. You know, you know how close they were together. Ooh. Wow. They're gonna kiss. Ooh. Hopefully Gambit's not in the room. What is it? Madeline. Bloody nose. They're oh, speaking to each other. But Remy was right. Some things are deeper than skin. Huh. She's not going along with this. Turn it off. The music. Get everybody out. Oh, Cable's here. That's not good. Your mother. You have to get everyone out. 
Now! He's coming! Who's coming? Eyes. That's your son. You made it. You survived. I'm so sorry, Mom. Oh. He acknowledged. He knows. Dude! Sentinels? It's gotta be Sentinels, man. It is Sentinels. It's gotta be Sentinels from the future. Roll! Get to the gardens! Hurry! Ah! Oh. Good save by Nightcrawler, but it's like a triple headed Sentinel. Dude, no way. Oh my god. Be alive. So are you. Gambit. How many? Too many. Some vile Godzilla Sentinel. You go Godzilla at it, Sentinel. Linda dead. Can't even dent it. We're trying to evacuate folks now, but the Morlocks, they they stuck in the bay. Right under its belly. And there's no way to them. Oh my god. Dude. Look how gigantic the sentinel is, and it's dropping even more sentinels. Oh, vaporizing mutants. Crazy. All right, Magneto. I draw its fire away from the gardens. Rogue clears a path for Gambit to the Morlocks. Save as many as you can. Go ahead. Then how about we spice up them rules? Spice it up, spice it up. Go ahead, Gambit. Doing it with style. No, not the statue of Charles. Let me guess, after all of this, his statue will be the one still standing. Shall be a bear. Yeah, so many mutants are dead. Whoa, dude, he's going off. Magneto, he promised Leech would never be scared again. The X Men are no friends to the Morlocks. What? The X Men have always been friends. Oh, no. Look at that. Bon soirée, mes amis. Good now job. kindly follow me. Look at the X-Men or an X-Men saving the Morlocks. Omega Threat Detective. Yeah, you're looking at three of them. Oh my god, Leech. Morlocks, get out of here. Oh, no. No! Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Dude, attack the sentinel. Attack the giant, gigantic sentinel. Is Magneto sacrificing himself with the Morlocks? I'm kinda axed. Omega threat eliminated. No way. Maybe they're under the gr ground? She's pissed. She's pissed. Head coming right off. Head clean off. No! What the hell, Remy? Nightcrawler, get out of here. Dude, what in the world, Gambit? Because the cards always be in my favor. Oh! What? The cards are not in his favor. Dude, where are the rest of the X-Men? The name's Gambit. Remember it! Boom. No, this is gonna kill Gambit! Remember it. 
Dude, what the hell's going on with this episode? And y'all just sat there and watched this How many? Happen? How many, damn it? To reiterate for those just returning to us, regardless of your stance on recent world events. Oh my. The images you are about to see. Oh my god. May be disturbing. Dude, dude, Genosha is in ruins. There are so many mutants dead. Magneto, Gambit. <laughs> what? Shogun. <laughs> no way, dude. I, I can't feel you. <laughs> Do not. They're gonna. Come on, bro. I hate when shows do that, yo. What an ending. And you know what's crazy about this? The whole world was watching and nobody did anything. Just letting these mutants and a few Omega level mutants, you know, defend for themselves. Crazy. All right, that is a crazy episode. That is an episode that caught me by surprise because I was not expecting this episode to take such a big turn. I mean, this is episode five. Last week's episode wasn't that big of an episode. It was a big episode for Storm and Forge, but they decided to, you know, cram that in in the final few minutes of that episode. But the first part of that episode was a fun episode with, you know, Sunspot and Jubilee dealing with none other than a crazy villain in Mojo. But with this episode, you get dirty laundry being spread around. You got Madeline Pryor being jealous of Jean and Jean being jealous of Madeline Pryor, that whole situation going on. Then you got Genosha being part of the United Nations. And then you see how much this little island, this little country has, you know, prospered on and on. And it looks amazing at the beginning of this episode. And then you get Nightcrawler too as well and so many other mutants. Happy life. But by the end of this, this place is in ruins. Magneto, is he alive or is he dead? Same with my guy, Remy Gambit. Is he alive or is he dead? Crazy, man. This episode took a massive turn. And Madeline Pryor, I believe, knew somehow, some way that something was bad was about to happen. And it was none other than her son from the future returning to his past and seeing his mom, Madeline Pryor, confirms it to us, the viewers, and confirms it to Cable, that mom and son, right then and there. And that is something that we did not touch on or was brought up in the episodes of the old show. And that makes sense because in the old show, you had Cable appearing in episodes, but Cable was never making that connection that the person, Jean Grey, at the moment, I'm not sure if it was the clone or if it was our Jean Grey, this cable just did not mention or bring up or was able to connect that, hey, the person that's working with the X-Men, that could be my mom. That was not discussed at all. But here we get that look. We get a look. We don't get that much of a discussion because it happens fast. Next thing you know, cable is late. He is gone. He is pulled back into the future and all hell breaks loose as there is a gigantic Godzilla sentinel from the future. It, crazy. It just, everything happened so fast. So fast. I feel like the pacing of this episode was good and then it just kicks it up a notch. And next thing you know, the episode is over. And the episode is titled, Remember It. And that is a classic line by Gambit. The name's Gambit. Remember it. Those are his final words before he does the extraordinary moment of taking out this Godzilla Sentinel. He does it with style, like he always does. But doing so maybe costs Gambit's life, and Gambit could be dead. Magneto? Is he dead? Are the Morlocks dead? I have no idea. This is on a cliffhanger. And what makes me so mad is that we get a gigantic cliffhanger in episode four 
and that's not continued with episode five. We get a cliffhanger yet again with episode five here. Next week's episode is continuing off the cliffhanger that we had with Storm and Forge. So we are not going to be able to find out what's happening with this moment, with this cliffhanger until episode seven, which I believe episode seven and episode eight and episode nine is a three part finale, a three part story. Crazy, crazy moment. And I'm pretty sure the watcher was in this episode. I'm pretty sure unless I'm just totally seeing things. So sound off there. Incredible episode crazy episode highly enjoyed this more than last week's episode but still oh my god i feel like my only minor criticism is how everything just popped off in like a matter of you know less than 10 minutes it happened so fast so many mutants are dead or so many mutants are injured or dead or alive i have no idea i i need to see what the aftermath of the situation is now but i gotta wait two weeks i gotta wait two weeks but um, I want to hear what you guys think. Uh, this is indeed a great episode. Eager to reel in next week's episode to see, you know, what turns out with this whole storm and um, Ford situation. That was a crazy cliffhanger. Um, but yeah, but if I had to choose which cliffhanger I want to dive into next, it's this one. This one is bigger than last week's cliffhanger, and I need to see what happened. I need to find out who's alive and who isn't. I'm hoping that my man Gambit is alive um, because Rogue, Rogue decided to choose him in the end. Even though she was siding with Magneto this whole episode, she chose Remy in the end. And Remy has no idea of that because Remy wasn't there in that moment. He decided to leave early and now he's supposedly dying in Rogue's arm. That's going to do it here. A great episode, I think. I don't think it's one of the best episodes, but I enjoyed it here. That's my review. That's my reaction. Sound off in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys in the next reaction video. This is Realty Reactions. I'm Realty Miles. Peace.